យើងខ្ញុំប្រកាសអាណាសូមក្រាត់ថ្វាយបង្គំប្រគន់ជាម្ចាស់គ្រប់ព្រះអង្គ <cười> Good evening and welcome back to Supreme Council of Khmer Ho Khmer for Rescue, Khmer Lady Viewpoint Show. And now I would like to introduce our panelists this evening. Right now we have Ms. China Set and Ms. Galeanu. And my name is Chovy Put. I am your host tonight. On December 17, we all remembering the 10 years anniversary of the wrongful arrest and hold His Excellency against his human right for seven months. That was the most stupidity act of Hun San, and we all sure that Hun San regretted for grossly mistake. Okay, welcome back to our 11 show, ladies. Thank you, Bong. Bon. Yes, before we start Perfect. our show, we have a short six minute video. Please, Bong Mani, please play the video.
ការពីរភព្រយោជន៍របស់ព្រះជាព្រះខ្មែរដែលជាម្ចាស់អំណាចការពីររដ្ឋនៈសម្បត្តិសុវណ្ណសុវណ្ណធម្មជាតិនិង
กตในนยพีจมโนรับหนึ่งกรุบกรงจมนายสาธารณะกาเปียสมบัติทอมิชิตหนึ่งตึกใดปุงริกกะเซกาลทานกะเซอุตสาหกรรมบรรลายพลายเชือสระละปุงเรื่องเฮทารจนาสมปวนอังสกตึกแกนิกุมดอยทุยกาศึกษาอย่างลมอัดสลายปีพลังเมในประปวนสาวไซลมโฮตึกตูแจงประเทศได้เชียร์สาวไซเชียมสำหรับบงโฮบังโจสกตึกชูเตโรกาอภิวัตวิสัยกะสิกรรมกรุบจรหอไก่ในพลังเมในตึกสมบทออยคลายตัวจิตึกทราบสำหรับบำราดำเนกาโรบปุรักขงกรงหรือปุรักในจุนบทเปียจูประเทศเพียบอสันในรถเดินสูตรหนึ่งบังกอบังการพอลออยบานไปรถเดินเชียรียงรัวฉน้ำปุงริกปุงเรื่องอนุเพียบหนึ่งบังการสักลานุปุลดำบันติสจ้อโรคติบสาอันตรายที่ดำไปลุ่ยจังในพอลตะพอลรบกัมพูชีขอบคุณมากค่ะบอมบ์นี่นี่คือความสำเร็จในปีนี้ที่มีความสำเร็จในปีนี้ที่มีความสำเร็จในปีนี้ที่มีความสำเร็จในปีนี้ที่มีความสำเร็จในปีนี้ที่มีความสำเร็จในปีนี้ที่มีความสำเร็จในปีนี้ที่มีความสำเร็จในปีนี้ที่มีความสำเร็จในปีนี้ที่มีความสำเร็จในปีนี้ที่มีความสำเร็จในปีนี้ที่มีความสำเร็จในปีนี้ที่ We should have done this lady viewpoint show in Khmer Mai to gain more popularity. First, we would like to thank you to our viewer. His name is Dao Kralaham Yutri for taking the time to join our live show. Again, as we have mentioned it, mentioned many times during our show, the Supreme Council of Khmer Help Khmer Lady Viewpoint, the reason we all doing it in English to bring awareness to the world community and the new generation of Gon Khmer that grew up in different part of the world. We are not seeking popularity. Our attention is to inform the world and our mission is to liberate our motherland. Plus, we already have a show in Khmer, which I began shown weekly for the last two years. Can hear you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, yes, happy holidays to everyone. And you are correct, Vong Chavi. Yeah. But before I start, I would like to share with everyone tonight of the great news of His Excellency, Dr. Ray Chatham. Back in October the 27th of 2020, His Excellency got ratified and reconfirmed and revalidated Alpha Omega Global Soul Orbiter Authority. And I am going to name the 11 world body signatories that ratify His Excellency. One, the Federal Reserve Chairman. Two, the Secretary of U.S. Treasury Department. Three, the U.S. Attorney General. Four, the IMF Managing Director. Five, the president of European Central Bank. Six, the governor, Central Bank of England. Seven, the governor, Central Bank of Switzerland. Eight, the Republican House leader. Nine, the Democratic Speaker of the House. 10, the ranking US Senate, Senator on the Ju Judiciary Committee. And 11, the ranking Republican Senator on the Judiciary Committee and congratulations to His Excellency for that. And thank you, Bong. You know, um, our young generation is lack of understanding and knowing the truth about our people's pain and suffering um, in the last hundred years. The Supreme Council of Khmer Health Khmer is not interested in fame or glory. Our mission is to reclaim our sovereignty which is being eradicated by the foreigners, which are no other than the Vietnamese communists, the Chinese communists. And we must let the world know the truth about who is, go who is trying to wipe us out. Mong? That's correct. Um, Mong, if we do not speak out or uh, voice our opinion, we would not, it will not be heard. Uh, I am adamant that we must stand up for our kids future and the children's future. So um, we must reclaim 
our sovereignty back. This is the generations of the millennium, the generations of the internet and smart devices. Well, we must think smart and fight smart. Okay, okay, lady, cool down. We'll come back to our 11th show. <laughs> okay, Paul. Well. Yes, please conserve your energy for our um, show tonight because tonight we have an exciting topic to share with our audience. Our attention tonight is to share with our audience contrast of the old Khmer Republic versus the new Khmer Republic. I am confident that the new Khmer Republic government, because we are very solid organization in every which way of bringing up a real government for the people, by the people. Own Kalyan, Own Kalyan and Own China, I know uh, both of you have a lot of information to share with our audience tonight on this uh, topic. Let's start with you, um, On China. Send you all on the road right now. <laughs> well, but thank you, Bong. Uh, let me start off by saying this: I've always looked forward to being here with you and Mong Kalyan tonight. This is uh, this show allows me to share with Gong Kamai out there the promises for our sad country. I cannot wait to see the big changes coming soon, as we said in our last show. Uh, so therefore, the new Khmer Republic government is the government of hope. As Bong Kal Yan mentioned, the Supreme Council of Khmer helped Khmer with our big boss in the driver's seat. We are the organizations of solutions. We do not need 20 or 30 years to solve the problem. Bong Sai. Yeah, oh, China, uh, <clears throat> we are the organization of solution. Right, Bong. Uh, the contrast between the old Khmer Republic that we led by President Lanol in the early 70s and the new Khmer Republic government is a big difference, Mong Kalyan. And I will do our best to share with everyone the best that we can with the limited time we have tonight. We are very confident that we will get our clear message across to all Khmer around the globe. First, we must be cleared where we control the destination, not like the old Khmer Republic, Mong Chavi. We have our resources and we have a master plan. Later this evening, we will address the outline of our master plan. And again, thank you, Mong. Yes, okay, lady, before we uh, get too much ahead of ourselves, I would like to give some background on how the old uh, Republic got started and why. On Kalan Yang, I hope you uh, can help me with this, On. Sure, Wong. Um, before our country got into a dark period in which we lost more than 3 million innocent lives, after the old Republic government failed to protect um, the country from corruption and was undermined by Sihanou to weaken the government. The old Khmer Republic, per our data, we have covered during our previous Ladies' Viewpoint show and the Wong Sorapet's um, documents. It is clearly shown that all was instigated by Monique Easy when she came into Si Hanuk's life as his number six wife. Um, si Hanuk lived his life um, at the fullest, like a movie star, not like a head of state or king. He bankrupted the country with his lavish spending on movie making and living at large at the Khmer people's expense. Cambodia National Bank was his personal piggy bank. Simultaneously, Monique's mother was doing the weapon runs for the Viet Cong, doing, um, excuse me, using the Khmer government resources to move the weapon from the seaport to the jungle. And simultaneous, simultaneous, I'm sorry. Um, the Viet, Viet Cong, excuse me, um, the Viet Cong uses Khmer territory as a safe haven to carry out war with American in the South or Kampuchea Kro. But first, I need to give a little background in order to give our audience a better understanding, Bong. Please do, it is very interesting. You know, I, I would like you, um, I would like to know as well too. Please continue on. Okay, thank you, Bong. Um, I will try to keep it brief so we could jump um, right into the contrast of the new and the old Khmer Republic government. Ever since Sihanou got crowned as king and the country gained independence from France, Cambodia made significant development with no doubt um, due to rebuilding worldwide. And not too long, the former tyrants regimes like China and Vietnam 
began to map out their conquered quest again. When one person like Sihanu became God of the people, that's when the problem started. His autocratic ego fits Ho Chi Minh doctrines perfectly to swallow our existence. Um, if only we review our history, we will see it. Playing God is dangerous to the country, Bong. You know, Bong Kalyan, I have to agree with you. You are so right about that. Our land was about 1.2 million kilometers, uh, uh, 1.2 million square kilometers during the Mahanako era, and now only 176,000. 520 kilometer, a square kilometer ball. Well, yes, this is because all Kungmai kings played God. I agree with you, lady, but for now, please um, don't get too far um, off our topic. Please keep it focused on the event that uh, leading to the March. Okay, well. Yeah, year 1970. Sorry, Bong. Um, thank you for bringing us back on track here, Bong. Thank you. Um, Si Hanu got himself into trouble, and he does not know how to handle it. Due to his autocratic governing style and inexperience, I guess he got lost in solving international issues or even the regional issues with the neighboring countries. What kind of trouble did Si Hanu get himself into, Galian? Well, you know, Onchina, could you answer this because you did the research on this one? Of course, Wong. Um, thank you. Uh, Sihanu led his wife and his mother-in-law ran his foreign policy with the Ho Chi Minh government, Wong. Both of them allowed Viet Cong to use Khmer territory to the point that it got the country into major problem with the international community and threatened country sovereignty. Thank you, Onchina. How did they solve the problem? Yan, um, can you elaborate on this one? Well, you know, Sinu got panicked um, from the international uh, community pressure, especially the Americans. And it was quite hard, not knowing what to do because his wife, Monique, sold our country to the devil Ho Chi Minh. Um, he left the country erupted under the pretext of health issues that needed emergency medical care in Europe. This um, happened back in January of, uh, excuse me, 1970. What role did General Lunal and Prince Rima mm -hmm. play on this of, of this? Well, uh, Bong Chavi, General Lunal was very loyal to Sihanu, as we know, as always, but Prince Rima was more of a man of his own. Uh, they all tried to come up with some kind of solutions, but in the end, Sihanu double-crossed double these two men, due to his wife, Monique Easy, outplay Sihanu. Even the queen Sihanu's mother tried to persuade Sihanu to work out the solution by coming back home first to solve it together as a country. I understand that Sihanu agreed to come back home and then he changed his mind the next morning, just like uh, right before the flight. Yes, he did, Bong. Sihanu got convinced by his mother-in-law not to return home and to deal with it from abroad. She went on to say that nobody could touch Sihanu. Plus, Mr. Lono and Prince Siddhi Matat needed him to run the country. Now let's um, back it up a little bit. What um, do we know one year before this saga happening? Well, like I said, Bong, um, Sihanu got himself into a major trouble. And what we know was sometime in 1969, General Lono was in Europe for medical treatment from his car accident. He was very seriously injured on his left leg. Um, we could say tonight that Sihanu was very inconsistent with his foreign policy and domestic policy. However, his relationship with America went sour from May 1965, but was reestablished on July 2nd, 1969. Now, to me, this was the downfall of the country during this period. While the world was fighting communist, communists, Sihanu embraced socialism and communists. He preaches socialism. He was a totalitarian leader. He would not accept any policy that is anti-socialist policy. In summary, again, we got played by the Vietnamese. This would not well, excuse me, this would be the last time because the Supreme Council of Khmer Khmer 
will not let, let this happen again, ladies. Thank you, Owen. Now let us talk about the last few months that lead to the Khmer Republic formulation. And I would like to ask you lady to share what and why Khmer Republic Lunar government fell. Well, well, per our research and documents provided by Lubang Sarapai, and I will read out the first six of 10 chronicle events that led up to March the 18th, 1970. And on China, please read uh, out the remaining, please. Absolutely. Um, here, are the, here are the first six events in the chronicle order. On one on January 6, excuse me, 1970, Si Hanuk left Cambodia for France without informing the government. He cited health reasons that require him to seek medical treatment in France. And two, in an early February 1970, Si Hanuk met with Mr. Lonol in Paris. Three, on February the 3rd, 1970, the National Asse uh, Assembly arrested a case of fabric smuggling from Hong Kong with Colonel Om Maniran, the Secretary of State of, for the Ministry of National Defense involved with Sihanouk brother-in-law. And four, on March the 8th, 1970, demonstration erupted in Sphairian province against the presence of Viet Cong in Cambodia territory. The protesters demanded that the Viet Cong leave Cambodia immediately. And five, on March the 11th, 1970, Another demonstration erupted in Phnom Penh against the Viet Cong and North Vietnam. Um, the embassy of the provisional government of South Vietnam and North Vietnam were vandalized by protesters, mostly by high school students. And on March the 6th, excuse me, number six, on March the 14th, 1970, Si Hanu sent a telegram to government, to the government. In the cupboard, Sihanu stated that he did not support the protesters. As you see, Sihanu played Mr. Lono and Mr. Dimata. Now, On China, can you please take over the remain, remaining event? Sure, Bong, so you can catch some breath here. <laughs> thank you. Um, thank you, Bong Kalyan. Here are the remaining four Chronicles event leading up to March 18, 1970. Um, on March 16, 1970, a meeting between the Cambodian delegations, the Vietnamese and North Vietnamese delegations, but with no solutions. On the same day, there was another demonstration against Vietnam in front of the National Assembly, which was the meeting to investigate the smuggling case involving Mr. Om Munaran. So um, the protesters demanded that the National Assembly immediately resolve the issue, requiring the Viet Cong and North Vietnamese troops to withdraw from Cambodia territory. The government and the queen, Si Hanu's mother, decided to send three dignitaries, Prince Kandal, Mr. Yam Sam Bo, and uh, Deputy uh, Kim Eng, I believe, uh, to France. Yes, to relate the news to Si Hanu about the country situation. Still, Si Hanu refused to meet the delegate. And then um, I guess on number eight, on March the 17, 1970, Mr. Lenol announced on the radio that he had arrested Colonel Borhol, the Phnom Penh police chief, Si Hanu cousin, um, for plotting a coup against the government. And then um, number nine on March the 18th, 1970, during Sihanu official visit to the Soviet Union at 1.30 p.m. in Cambodia, the Khmer National Assembly voted to oust Sihanu as head of state. And then um, number 10 on March 19, 19, uh, 1970, Mr. Nunal de declared a deadline for Viet Cong and North Vietnam to withdraw their troops from Cambodia territory within 48 hours. King Sihanu, meanwhile, made a radio call from Beijing calling for all Khon Khmer to an uprising against the government led by Mr. Lenol, known as the Royal Government for National Salvation. Mong, these are the 10 chronicle event that led up to the civil war. In our opinion, it's all because of Si Hanu selfishness. Mong Kalyan and Mong Chavi, back to you. Thank you, Mong Kalyan. Thank you, Mong Chavi. Thank you, Mong Chavi. Thank you, Mong Chavi. Thank you, Mong Ch
back to you. Lady, that's, that's, thank you very much. That's a lot of uh, information. Own Carl Yan, can you tell our audience who was behind the uprising against Viet Cong and North Vietnam in Sphai Rieng and Phnom Penh? So, well, I will try my best here, um, per my document here. I have in front of me here all the facts. I am going to give some background about power exchange from Si Hanut to General Lon Nol first. When Si Hanut met Mr. Lon Nol in Paris in February of 1970, Mr. Lon Nol received medical treatment in France in August 1969. During that time, Prince Rima Thak was the first Deputy Prime Minister and the caretaker Prime Minister of the National Salvation Government. King Sienu and Mr. Lonol raised the, uh, the problem of Vietnamese communist troops in Cambodia, a hot topic leading to a loss of confidence in the principle of Khmer neutrality in the international community and diplomatic disruption, communication with the United States again. And at that same time, King Si Hanuk asked General Lonol to lead the government to save the nation with three political roadmaps. One, economic reform. Two, finding a new path for the nation's future. And three, a reviewing the foreign policy. This was clearly a total reverse of policy. Si Hanuk ran into a block wall and had no solutions. The country was bankrupt from his policy and his wild personal spending. I am pretty sure that Si Hanu put Mr. Lonol up to all the protests against the Vietnamese infraining into Cambodia territory leading to March 18, 1970. This was another flip-flop policy of Si Hanu Bong. Thank you, Own Kali Yan. I think uh, we have a pretty good idea of what really took place. Now, let us talk about Mr. Lunol government fell so we could share with our audience how and why new, the new Republic government will be success. Own China, can you share on and why Mr. Lunol government fell on? Sure, uh, Mong. Um, as you know, the Lunol government was a government formulated from a failed bankrupted Sihanouk's government. Sihanouk created a nightmare for all Khmer Khmer for the last 70 years. Sihanouk created and supported all the enemies that we are facing today. He supported the Viet Cong and Ho Chi Minh to fight with Americans, eventually out to destroy us. Sihanouk alienated and pushed Khmer scholars out of government to formulate their movement. Later, he joined them and killed 3 million something plus people. Well, we must recognize that General Lonol was a true patriot. He was one of the few leaders who dare call on illegal Vietnamese migrants in Cambodia to leave our territory within 48 hours. Yes, I agree, China. He was the first Khmer leader to call for a mass illegal migrant and 200,000 Viet Cong um, troops to leave Cambodia. But unfortunately, Si Hanu, as we stated, wasted no time to hit the radio to call on the Khmer people to join forces to fight the Lonol's government. This was um, 180 turnaround from rescuing the country and turning the country into the nightmare that we are facing now. Wow, 200 Viet Cong troops on our soil. This is an act of like treason punishment by the death penalty, if any constitution. Well, uh, Ma, when Mr. Lenol was formulating the Khmer Republic government, the new government's military was in a ragtag condition. As we could see in the video earlier, um, when Ma Mani, you know, uh, showed us, Sihanu never had any interest in our country and people. He left the military in a very vulnerable stage or conditions to fight in enemies. Yes, you know what? And you know, General Lonol and Prince Limata actually have no choice but to take over the country due to the country, one, broke, two, with 200,000 foreign soldiers, which are the Viet Cong in, the, um, in our territory. And a few weeks later, CNU joined forces with my lifelong enemies, the Viet Cong, to kill us. 
Yes, Sihanou did commit committed gross treason than anyone we know in the Khmer modern history. You know, I have to agree with you, Wong. Um, Sihanou committed gross treason for all. He called upon all Gong Khmer to join him in the Max, uh, Maki Forest um, uh, in Cambodia. Yeah, what do you mean uh, by Maki Forest, Aung? Well, Bong, uh, Maki Forest mean the deep forest away from the civilizations, away from the city and all that. Wow. Thank you, Ochina. Golia, what is your thought of General Lonald's failure? Well, Bong, you know, General Lonald did not have any um, preparation to take over the government, especially in this condition. He was fighting multiple fronts. See Hanu, Khmer Rouge, and the Viet Cong. Um, the country became so disarray right after the new Khmer Republic was uh, formulated. All roads between provinces got disconnected. Farmers are no longer able to farm and produce any foods. The inflation ran wild. Um, the cost of goods shot up 100%. And I have an example here. You know, the uh, one bowl of noodle was five, five veal per bowl went up to 500 real per bowl and one kilo of pork from 12 real to 1,250 real per kilo before the government fall in 1975. Wow. You know, Bong, yeah, it is it's really sad when the fighting started in the provinces, people move into the capital, the corruption rampage was out of control when the inflation jumped that year. Thank you, Onchina. I want to verify what I hear on Saturday, the 5th December, doing our question and answer show that China played a major role in breaking up relationship between Sihanou and Lunol. Can you verify this? Um, I might hear it wrong. Um, Kalian, can you verify this one? Sure, Bong. You know, you heard it right, Bong. Um, China was the instigator in starting the turmoil and our nightmare. They um, one us to be weak so they could conquer us with no other reason. So China sent a special envoy to meet with Mr. Lonol in Phnom Penh to negotiate uh, sometime in April of 1970. Bon. What is the term of condition of the negotiation? Well, bon, the communists, they never have anything um, for our best interest, it's only for their interest. China asked Mr. Lonol to consider three conditions. Um, and Mr. Lonol has until the end of April to respond back to them. And the three conditions are Mr. Lonol government to fa facilitate the transport of all food and weapons to, to the Viet Cong through Cambodia to fight South Vietnam. And two, agreed to allow North Vietnam to deploy troops in Cambodia, and three, agreed to recognize the Chinese policy and be willing to influence to them all by, uh, excuse me, to them all by, by means. Mong Kalyan, these conditions are not in the best interest of, of, of Khmer at all, Mong. Uh, damn this communist bloodsucker sure had uh, Khmer's future to prolong with a bloody war ever since. This was stopped with the new Khmer Republic. And I mean, I, I really adamantly want to say that, you know. Yes, you know, China, you know, the communists wanted to control us, but General Lono recognized those three conditions. So Beijing will not recognize Sihanou and will recognize the Khmer Republic if General Lono agree to their conditions. But General Lono refused and reject all the three conditions. Yeah. So what happened um, after General Lunar refused offer? Well, it was the beginning of our nightmare ball. Next day on May the 1st, 1970, China recognized Sihanou. Mao Zedong solemnly declared that China was willing to provide financial assistance according to the prince needs and announced that China would pay no interest when the prince won the victory. And five days later, um, a royal government was formed called the Government of National Unity of Cambodia with Mr. Painot as its prime minister and Mr. Chao Seng as a minister 
in charge of special mission that approach all foreigners, especially the West. And General Lonald rejected the offer. Again, with his rejection, Paina turns to Sihanu to finance, and that was the beginning of our nightmare. And then, Mom, at the time, Khmer Republic government of Lonol was very weak. Uh, General Lonol had to fight two fronts. And it's sad, one front against Sihanou with China backing, and then the second front with Viet Cong with Bao Dai Group is very well trained in hundreds of thousands of soldiers with guerrilla skills. And as I have said, the corruption was rampaged with internal fighting between General Lanol's brother, Mr. Lanol, and Prince Sere But You know, I mean, it, it's just heartbreaking. Yeah. Um, yes. Let's uh, look forward to um, our Khmer Republic government by the Supreme Council of Khmer Republic for Rescue Movement Master Plan. The lady outlined what will be different and what we have to, uh, to assure all Khmer around the world that would be a peace and not worry about another civil war for benefit of the foreigner, Chinese communists, and Vietnamese communists again. You know, well, let me start with the outline of the Supreme Council of Khmer Health Khmer Master Plan that we have briefly covered during our Ladies' Viewpoint show number 10. Um, I can assure you that the two Khmer Republic is very different from day and night government structure. The new Khmer Republic government has a very solid planning. The Supreme Council of Khmer Health Khmer is not an incidental organization. His Excellency made um, extensive planning before all of us joined 24 months ago. The old Khmer Republic was a government that came out of a failed regime that bankrupted and abandoned by Sihanou when he ran off into hiding in Paris. The old Republic government depends on the United States government for everything like finance, military technique, or the hardware support. The new Khmer Republic government does not depend on anyone. The new Khmer Republic has solid support from the Supreme Council of Khmer Health Khmer to be changed to the Supreme of Nation. This will be the backbone and the shadow government of the new Khmer Republic government. The new Khmer Republic government will be armed with the latest technology and technical support from all the nine regions that His Excellency controls for the last 25 years. Well, Thank you, Owen. Ochina, what is your thought on this and what will make the new Khmer Republic government different? Well, Mong Chavi, General Leno and Prince Reimata were not prepared to take over the government back then, as we all know. They did not have all the deep support <coughs> of the financial infrastructure that the new Khmer Republic had or has. This is a major difference. You cannot buy or trade without financial support. This has led to corruption at all levels of government. On Kalyan, I understand that this uh, was a secret negotiation for a peace settlement. The China Communist Party backed out of this agreement at the last minute. Yes, Wong, they, uh, they did. President Donald was in so much tear. On his way to the airport, he did not travel straight to Honolulu on that day. He detoured via Jakarta and stayed there until April the 8th, 1975, before continuing his travel to exile in Honolulu, Hawaii. The interim president of the Khmer Republic or the caretaker president, uh, Mr. Sakampoi, announced via radio that his government was preparing for Prince Sianu to rejoin the government. And as the record has shown, President Lonol left for Honolulu on April the 8th, 1975. But this agreement never materialized because the inner circle of the upper Chinese Communist Party changed the political direction not to honor the agreement at 4 a.m. on April the 12th, 1975. Mong Kalyan, Mong Chavi, in my opinion, the Chinese Communist government uh, never intended to honor the agreement anyway. As history unfolded, they abandoned Sihadu in 1975 and Khmer Rouge in 1979. Now they are about to abandon Hun Sen again. 
Thank you, On Galayan. On China, please share with us of the new Khmer uh, Republic government master plan. Well, Bong Chavi, corruption is a disease that will eat up uh, the government if it is allowed. We must stamp out the corruptions from the start of the new government. His Excellency has allocated a limited financial apparatus resources to support the new government with multiple stimulus program to give a short, I mean, to give it a shot in the arm per uh, financial injections into the government and economy. In plain words, we will open the floodgate of cash into the new Khmer Republic government economy. We are talking in billions and billions of US dollars. I can feel the rush in my blood bone when we talked about this. Open the floodgate of cash and with billion, billion and billion dollar, USA dollar. I can see this yeah. happening. Uh, wow, I, I must say, wow. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, please add your thought if, if you have any, please. Oh, sure, Bong. Well, you know, this is absolutely going to happen, Bong. Well, all Fong Khmer can bank on this. However, I would like to point out some of the other significant things that His Excellency has crafted out in the last many years to come. Um, it is political stability. He created a political equilibrium, ensured that our country will be, uh, will, excuse me, will not be bothered by foreigners anymore. What do you mean by, by this political e equilibrium? Please explain. Well, Bong, in the last 10 years, His Excellency has been invested heavily in establishing a political foundation with the key global player like the United States. He established a financial benchmark through a Department of Treasury that will be hard, um, will be hard to break off. Um, the ASEAN region, with multiple nations like Singapore also established uh, two very solid relationship with major financial institutions. For Malaysia, the relationship is anchored at the highest level that we could possibly have. And for the Arab League, the relationship would be, would be better with many financial and e economical relations that would last hundreds of years to come. Um, these relationships only grew strong every year. So Vietnam and China should have a second thought before they declare to encroach into our sovereignty again. In simple words, he has balanced out the force already. The allies he established is the best money could buy, Bong. And all we have to do now is just follow his lead, ladies. This is awesome, lady. This sounds like very solid. But please elaborate a little bit on this to help our audience better understanding. I will have a flat gate of cash open up. And what Kala Yan um, said about this political ally that established have a political equilibrium. Kala Yan, can you help understand how the flat gate of cash will happen? Sure, well, Bong. Um, the two items just mentioned are the two most important pillar for a country must have to be successful. One, cash. Two, a solid political policy that can stand up to domestic and foreign disaster. Without cash flow, the economy will come to a standstill. Without a solid political policy, the country will be sink if any domestic or foreign terror. Um, the floodgates of cash to be injected in the new Khmer Republic government is in position already. Because His Excellency has shown us the AU SKR that um, to be used to generate the financial needs and to back the new Khmer currency, the real. Um, not like the old uh, Khmer Republic government uh, was living on the United States uh, government assistance. Let's regroup here for a second. Um, number one, we will have unlimited financial resources uh, that will inject into the economy and into the government sector. Number two, we will have a strong political policy, domestic and foreign. Number three, corruption will stem right from the start with the new government. The third is very difficult to accomplish. 
on China, can you share how the new government will handle without getting um, into too, too many too detail? Well, yeah, Bong, um, you are, both of you are very right. This corruption will be a big task for the new Khmer Republic government. And we are ready. His Excellency will bring many former, former ministerial level as an advisors from the eight countries or more. These advisors are coming out of their retirement to help us. They will bring 20, 30, or 40 years of experiences in their field to string board our new government to synchronize with the world community seamlessly, Bong. Mm. Can you name the country that this advisor come from, if, if you could, own? Yes, of course, Bong. Um, but please be advised that our advisor list is still um, in working process, progress, Bong. Uh, we have not finalized the list yet, but we have pretty good list of the advisors who have been advising us on the liberation. These advisors previously and currently working for OITC, like retired ministers, former ambassadors from a great country like Israel, France, the US and uh, EU member countries. The eight attorneys group will also continue to provide important services for many more years to come along. This group uh, of advisor is the all-stars team. I personally have no worries whatsoever. I can bank on this for sure, like Bong Yes, 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 China. <laughs> you know, with the all-star team, His Excellency will be finished to assemble with, with and will provide a solid foundation in reforming key ministries, like the Ministry of Mahanako, the Ministry of Defense, and the Ministry of Justice. Um, the most um, the, the most important thing we we'll, we will be successful in it due to his agency careful planning. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna um, do a simple comparison here. One, the old republic government uh, is fighting three enemies in one war: internal enemy, Sihanou, and Vietnam. The new republic government, with no war to fight. No enemies are capable of fighting us because His Excellency already breaks them or just decommissioned them. Two, the old Republic government was cash trapped. The new Republic government has unlimited resources to run the country. Three, the old um, Republic government has no political leverage. The new my Republic government has allies all over the world with financial security with each nation. Four, the old Khmer Republic government has no political policy and running behind the problem all the time. The new Khmer Republic government has a solid master plan for 20 years outlook. You know, with what I just briefly outlined, I am very confident that the new Khmer Republic will be successful, please. That is very impressive, Ong Kalayan. I hope our audience around the world could see the new Khmer Republic will bring hope and soon. Well, you know, the main thing is when the Supreme Council of Khmer Health Khmer takes over the government, we will not fight any more war because His Excellency already stabilized the enemies at the you know, front. The Chinese government will be uh, the Chinese government will submit to his excellency demands. The Vietnamese communist government will be running for protection from our storm of lawsuits. Um, as for the new Khmer Republic government, will only concentrate on rebuilding our country by starting to reform the corrupted, creating fresh seed for the next generation. Hmm. Um, yeah, I, I told, I'm looking forward to that as well, Wong. Um, Wong Chavi, I would like to close this evening with the statement directly to all patriots going to my out there, especially the young generation. Remember that no matter how much our lenient declines, if the next generation refuses to surrender, awaken the Khmer people descendants, souls to be brave, cultivate the conscience and the spirit of nationalism, our national will be strong, prosperous, 
again in our generations and the new generations to come. Uh, the younger generation is the righteous owner of Mahanako land. We as Skun Kamaya must treasure what we have. One, Kamaya has the oldest and unique cultures in Southeast Asia. And then two, Kamaya has the best ancient temple constructions in the world. And then three, Kamaya has good art, the oldest, the most beautiful sculpture, well-designed, more superior to foreigners. And then four, Khmer has its own Khmer literature. Five, Khmer has a very rich traditions that we all should be proud of. And then six, Khmer has a race of warriors, scholars, and artists that not everyone can imitate. And then seven, Khmer has been virtuous, moral, and safe from the beginning. And eight, Khmer has a land of Savannah Pum, favorable to farmers all over the country. So therefore, we as Khmer, Khmer, the master of Anko and the successors must absolutely preserve the Khmer people's culture, cultural heritage so that they do not come to be annihilated like Jampa again. With this ending, I am very grateful for being here tonight and may the may Lord Buddha continue to bless all Kun Kamaya out there, Bong. Keep fighting because hope is coming and we shall meet each other soon. Bong Chavi, Bong Kalyan. Thank you, On China. Now your last thought on uh, On Kalyan. <laughs> well, thank you, China. I am very grateful to be here also. And Bong Chavi, thank you. Um, you know, doing what we do best is to bring awareness to the world that a lack of the truth about how the Vietnamese communists and the Chinese communists try to steal our land with all the traitors' help. And for the nice ending, I would like to end with this thought. Ever since His Excellency got bestowed with the most powerful financial authorities by the world leaders and the United States Congress on January the 20th, 1995, enemies of all types and colors attacked him with no ending. And I, you know, I guess His Excellency was very well prepared for his job even before he was given with all these authorities. As he always said, and I quote, when you are high above everyone, you tend to get hit with strong wind. And the higher you get, the stronger the wind. Um, with this quote and thought, I would like to share the assessment relating to his quote. Since 1995, many people have tried to unseat him by trying to kill him in many ways. So I would like to share my thought with everyone tonight. All his enemy whispered to his excellency and said, you can not stand the storm. This is me, you cannot withstand the storm. And his excellency respond, I am the storm. I am the Alpha Omega. I am Kon Khmer. I have all the code in my head. So what can you do for me? <laughs> Ladies and Kon Khmer around the world, this is very true. The Alpha Omega code is the most powerful financial code in the world. This is the first and last code that the world community ever needs. Only one Kong Khmer has it. What do you think, ladies? Can the Supreme Council of Khmer help my bring prosperity and happiness to the Savannah Pum land again? Oh, yes, yes. for sure, Long. He's yes. one yes. remarkable and outstanding person we have ever met. So I totally bind on it. Yes. And we will. And we will too. We can and we will. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm excited because hope is coming. You know, I mean, I just can't wait to see Gon Khmer liberated, Gon Khmer happy again, Bong. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Right. Back to you, Bong. Yes, back to you. Thank you, Bong. Absolutely, lady. Yes, we can. I am very excited. Um, your closing remark, lady. I am going to recap the most important area that the new Khmer Republic government will have. Number one, 18 ministry with the woman handing, heading 
the nine ministry. Number two, reform all the ministries, especially the ministry of justice, ministry of defense, ministry of education, ministry of Mahanago, formerly known as uh, Interior, and medical care and social program. Number three, unlimited financial resources all inject injecting into the economy with 20 year of outlook planning for development. Number four, Ill illegal foreigner will be charged and pr prosecuted for illegally entering Cambodia. Number five, land allocation program to implement for the homeless. Six job creation program to bring all going my worker back from neighboring country. I know the list on and on, but these are the most important one. To end this evening, I would like to requote an Israeli slogan and look through the big quote on December the 5th. Israel, Israeli slogan is, do not be rubbish this country. This is a powerful slogan that all going to come out, especially the new generation must follow to protect our land. Again, our wonderful evening has come to an end too soon, but we shall meet again soon. Thank you, own China and own Kalyan. You lady all wonder, wonderful. Thank you, Mom. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Khmer Khmer around the world, hope is coming soon. The Supreme Council of Khmer Khmer for Rescue assure, will assure that all traitors will be brought to justice. And before we close out this wonderful evening, I would like to acknowledge Lo Chin Tiu Ho and Mr. Uk Sorabich for their guidance and support of our Supreme Council of Khmer Khmer for Rescue. Lady Viewpoint show us always and last but not least to his excellency professor dr richard damby or the supreme council of my apply for rescue lady viewpoint wish to thank you your excellency from the bottom of our heart for giving us here the opportunity to be part of the history until we meet again next month please follow my politics and the supreme council of my apply for rescue if you find this show of value please share it and Merry Christmas and have a safe holiday, everyone. Thank you and good night. ខ្ញុំទាំងអស់គ្នាសូមខ្លាំងអំណរអរគុណអល់អស់លោកលោកស្រីប្រិយជាមិត្តតាំងតាមកម្មវិធីទស្សនៈស្ត្រីនៃអ